Welcome, Grade 8 students. Our topic for today is Lesson 7, Illustrating Rational Algebraic Expression. Our objectives for this lesson, number one, you should define and identify rational algebraic expression. And number two, you can now illustrate RAE. Again, polynomial. Poly means many. Nomial means terms. Also, polynomial is a number, variable, or a combination of number and variables with non-negative exponent separated by plus or minus signs. Let us recall what are the types of polynomial. We have monomial, binomial, trinomial, multinomial. Now, these are the rules again to know if the given is a polynomial or not polynom a polynomial. First, rule D, a um, variable should not have radical sign. Next, the exponent should not be negative. The variable should not be on the denominator. The variable cannot be an exponent. And the exponent cannot be a fraction. Now, let us have uh, an activity. You will identify if the given is a polynomial or not polynomial. First, negative 6y squared minus 7 over 9x. Is this polynomial or not polynomial? Let us recall again what are the five rules. Five rules, variable should not be inside the radical sign. Wala naman. Next, second rule, um, the exponent should not be a variable. Hindi naman. Not negative, hindi naman. Not a fraction, hindi naman. And the denominator should not contain variable, wala naman. So it means it didn't break the rule of polynomials. It is considered as polynomial. Next, how about this one? Again, um, the answer here for x squared of 2 times x plus 3 over 2x, this is not polynomial. Why? Because... We have here variable on the denominator. So, it is considered as not polynomial. It breaks the rules of polynomial. Another example, x square root of 2 plus 3x cubed. Polynomial or not? So, this is polynomial. It didn't break the rules of polynomial. Next, 3 over 2x cubed plus square root of x. Polynomial or not? So, the answer will be not polynomial because we have here the variable of x on the denominator and also we have here um, radical sign on our variable. So, it is considered as not polynomial. Next, we have 6x cubed plus 3y squared. Polynomial or not? So, the answer is polynomial. Now, we have here the um, rational algebraic exp uh, expression. Again, what is the meaning of rational from the root word ratio? It is a quotient, a fraction. So, a quotient is the answer in a division operation. Product is the answer in multiplication. Um, difference is the answer on the subtraction. And sum is the answer on the addition. So, again, RAE, that is the abbreviation of Rational Algebraic Expression. It is a quotient of two polynomials. So, we have the upper and the lower part. Both of them are polynomials where Q is not equal to zero. So, the bottom part of the fraction should not be zero unless it will be called undefined. So, no number can be divided by zero. It is imaginary. It is undefined. Okay? It is undefined. Next. What is the meaning of numerator? The numerator is the number above the line and shows how many parts we have. So, how many totals, total um, parts do we have? You will put it on the numerator. Numerator is above the line. And then, the denominator is the number below the line and shows how many equal parts the item divided into. Siya naman yung magdi-divide. So, again, the lower part is called the denominator. Numerator is the dividend. Denominator is the divisor. Next, what is a fraction bar? It is the line between numerator and denominator. So again, this is the fraction bar. It symbolizes division as an operation. Now, there are also rules for rational algebraic expression. First, again, the denominator should not be zero. And then number two, both numerator and denominator are polynomials. 
on rule number two, you should apply the rule of polynomial so that we will know if the numerator and denominator are polynomials. Now, the activity is to identify if the given is rational or not rational. RAE or not RAE. First, um, ma'am, uh, uh, not RAE na po yan kasi meron po tayong variable sa denominator. No. Again, kapag RAE, naka-fraction form na yan, magkaiba si numerator at si denominator. So, ganito ang gagawin nyo. Tingnan nyo muna ang ating numerator. Okay? So, pag tinignan mo si numerator, i-apply mo ang kanyang rule sa polynomial. Ano ulit yung five rules? Um, the variable should not be inside the radical sign. Wala naman. Then, rule number two, ang exponent natin ay... Hindi naman variable, hindi naman fraction, at hindi naman negative. At wala kayo nakikita ang denominator dito na variable. Wala silang denominator. Isa lang silang um, whole expression. Okay? Wala naka-fraction sa kanila. So, it means it didn't break the rule of polynomial. It is considered as polynomial. Next, tingin naman tayo sa ating denominator. Again, apply mo yung rule ng polynomial. By the way, may rule tayo ng RAE, di ba? Number one, ang denominator daw, hindi dapat zero. Wala namang zero. So, okay tayo. Sa rule number two naman, ayun, i-apply mo yung rules ng polynomial. Ano ulit yung five rules? No radical sign on the variable, no negative exponent, no fraction, and no variable as the exponent, and no then um, variable on the denominator. Wala naman itong denominator. Wala naman naka-fraction sa kanila. So, it means it didn't um, break the rules of polynomial. Both of them are polynomial. It means that is a rational algebraic expression. Another example. Again, please look alone on the numerator and on the denominator. Titigan ulit. Meron ba siya na break na rule? Wala. It is considered as polynomial. Sa ating denominator naman, may na-break bang rule? Wala rin. It is considered as polynomial. So, hindi na-break ang rule number 2 ng RAE natin. Ano yung rule number 1? The denominator should not be 0? Hindi naman. Hindi naman 0 ang denominator natin. It means it is still rational algebraic expression. Another example. So, now, this is considered as not uh, RAE. Bakit? Because we break the rule of polynomial where the exponent should not be negative. So, it is now considered as not RAE. Okay? So, now we're going to transform English sentence to mathematical sentence. So, here are the words that you might encounter. So, when we say more, more than, add, and sum, if you will see these words, this is addition operation. You will use plus sign. If it is less, less than, subtract, or difference, it is subtraction operation, you will use minus. If it is times, multiply, or product, it is um, multiplication operation, you will either use um, open and close parentheses or just combine the two. For example, 3 times y, you can combine 3 and y. So, the answer will be 3y. Okay, just combine the two. Next, how about um, fraction? Divid uh, divided by, divides, quotient, and average. So, this is for um, division operation. You will use fraction bar. Next, when we say twice, sa Tagalog, dinalawa. You will put 2 in front of a variable. For example, twice x. You will put 2 in front of variable x. Okay? Next, how about thrice? So, sa Tagalog, tinatlo. You will write 3 in front of the variable. A square. A square is an exponent. For example, x square. So, you will write x square. Or the square of x. Okay? Next, square root. So, that is the radical sign. Next, cube. You will write the exponent of 3. Cube root, you will write 3 before the radical sign. So, and many more. Now, let us try to illustrate our, um, let us try to um, transform English sentence to mathematical sentence. Now, we have here the quotient of 2 times a number x and y. First question, ma'am, bakit po ang tawag ay number x? Ang na number ang x and y. 
eh di ba po letter naman ng X and Y. Okay, so we are in algebra. We're in the letters between A to Z are variable representing the unknown number. Ibig sabihin no, halimbawa hindi mo pa alam yung number. Halimbawa ako, uh, ano ba ang age ko? So since hindi mo pa alam, unknown pa yung age ko, you will use a letter as a substitute doon sa unknown number mo. So, halimbawa, let S, yung variable S, be my um, age. Kasi hindi mo pa alam kung ano yung age ko. Hindi mo pa alam ano yung number na age ko. So, magre-represent ang mga variable ay, ayan, mag ang, ang, magre-represent ang mga variable doon sa mga unknown number. Kaya ang tawag natin ay number X and Y. Kasi nire-represent na nila talaga ay unknown number. Okay? So, ngayon, The quotient. So, start tayo dito. Quotient. Ibig sabihin tayo ay wag po fraction bar. Oh, two times a number x. Di ba? Pag sinabing times, we will multiply. I-combine natin yung 2 and x. So, combine the two. Dapat lagi unang numerical coefficient followed by the denomin, ah, variable, rather. And, pag sinabing n, ihihiwalay mo si y sa kanila. So, and y, that will be the denominator. O, paano ulit siya? The quotient of 2 times a number x and y. Pag binasa mo ito, 2x over y. That is the final answer. Next, let us again transform this English sentence to mathematical sentence. The fraction of 9 times a number y less 5 and z. Fraction, ang fraction ay division. So, Maglagay ka ng fraction bar. 9 times a number y. So, pag combine mo lang si 9, tsaka si y. Less 5. Ang less ay subtraction. Less 5. And z. So, hiwalay ulit si z. You will write it on the denominator. So, that is our final answer. Another one. 4 divides 20. Less than thrice a number s. Kanina, ang word natin ay less lang. Ngayon, may less than na. So, kapag may word na dan, ang sulat mo ay from right to left. So, kunyari, 5 less 1. O, ganito yun. 5 less 1. Nagsulat tayo from left to right. Pero kapag 5 less than 1, from right, 5. Sorry. Less than 1. Ganyan. Okay? 5 less 1. 1 less than 5. 1 less 5. 5 less than 1. Okay? So, ngayon, meron naman tayong word na divides. Iba yung divide. Iba yung divided by. So, kapag divide, you will write from bottom to top. Okay? So, kunyari, 4 divides 5. 4 divides 5. Pero kung 4 divided by 5, you will write from top to bottom. 4 divided by 5. Again, if I will read 5 divided by 4, 4 divides 5, 4 divided by 5, 5 divides 4. So now, let us try to um, uh, transform this. We have 4 divides. So magsulat tayo sa, ng 4 sa denominator. And then 20 less than. So 20... Less than. Trice a number S. So, trice tinatlo a number S. You will write S after the numerical coefficient 3. So, our answer is 3S minus 20 all over 4. That is the answer. Next, the sum of a number T and 4 divided by 5. Sum, addition. What are we going to add? The number T and 4. So, we have T and 4. Divided by, so since divided by ito, from top to bottom ang pagsulat natin, 5 will be the denominator. That is our answer. Another example, the average speed of Y minus 8 kilometers traveled in 2Y hours. Average fraction din yan. Magawa ng ating fraction bar. Then, kilometer per hour tayo, di ba? Halimbawa, nag-travel ka, gamit motor, tapos, um, 
mabilis ang pagpapatakbo mo, 60 km per hour. So, ang sulat mo nun ay 60 km per hour. Kilometer ang nasa numerator, itong kilometer natin, which is y minus 8. And then, ang hours natin, ang denominator, which is 2y. So, our answer is y minus 8 over 2y. Next, the fraction whose numerator is thrice a number m and the denominator is 8 times the square of n. So, fraction, naka fraction form daw, binanggit na rin kung anong numerator. Thrice a number m. So, thrice is 3. And then, M after 3. Then, the denominator is 8 times. So, we write 8 times the square of N. So, you will put square after N. So, the square of N is N squared. Your answer is 3M over 8N squared. That's it. It ends our lesson 7. Music